people who want to go to France dream of the Eiffel Tower, the elegant boulevards of Paris, the sunny French Riviera, and charming villages in the countryside. But sometimes, the most memorable parts of a trip happen when you do something local, instead of just looking at sights. These unique experiences and small adventures are more than just going to a monument or museum. They capture the spirit of the place. Today, we are going to discuss the top 15 things to do in France. But before we start our counting, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon as well. 1. From the Eiffel Tower, watch the sun go down. Tourists should go to the Eiffel Tower at sunset to see Paris at its most beautiful. At the beginning of the evening, the soft lighting gives the place an ethereal look. At this time of day, the golden glow on the horizon gives the views a romantic feel. As the sun goes down, the views from each level of the tower get even better, with the city's monuments lit up and the Seine River reflecting the beautiful colors of sunset. Also, every hour on the hour, the Eiffel Tower is lit up with sparkling lights that shine for five minutes. 2. Take a cruise on the Seine River A cruise down the Seine River is a fun and relaxing way to see all of Paris's most famous sights. The Compagnie de Beethoven Mouches offers scenic boat tours that go by the Place de la Concorde, the Louvre, the Musée d'Orsay, the Notre Dame Cathedral, and other famous sites. Beethoven Mouches offers a wide range of activities for tourists, such as daytime boat tours, brunch or lunch cruises, romantic dinner cruises, and cabaret shows. At night, the monuments along the Seine are lit up, making for a very beautiful sight. 3. Walk through Paris's charming old neighborhoods. The Quartier Latin, the Ile Saint Louis, and Le Marais are all charming neighborhoods where visitors can feel like they are in medieval Paris. Start your tour on the left bank in the Latin Quarter, which has been the university district of the city since the Middle Ages. After checking out the unique shops and bookstores in this busy neighborhood, cross the Seine River at the Petit Pont Bridge and head to the Ile de la Cité to see the front of Notre Dame Cathedral. 4. Go to Mont Saint Michael on a pilgrimage. The Abbey du Mont Saint Michael looks like a vision from heaven from its perch on a rocky island off the coast of Normandy. Mont Saint Michael is called the Pyramid of the Seas because it looks like something from another world. Since the 11th century, pilgrims on the way of St. James to Santiago de Compostela have stopped at the beautiful Gothic Abbey on the island. At low tide, pilgrims in the Middle Ages walked across the sandbanks in the Bay of St. Michael to get to the Mont St. Michael. The last part of the long, hard walk to get to this important Christian destination was to cross the Bay 5, sail in St. Tropez. Even though this posh resort on the French Riviera is known for its private yacht-filled harbor, anyone can sail on the Mediterranean. It's exciting to breathe in the salty sea air and look at the deep blues of the sea. In St. Tropez, there are many companies that charter or rent out motorboats, sailboats, and yachts for the day, week, or longer. The Old Port and the Marines de Cogolin are both places where you can rent boats. 6. Go to the Royal Serenade at the Chateau de Versailles. At a party at the Chateau de Versailles, you can get a glimpse of how French royalty and their lavish court used to live. From mid-June to mid-September, on Saturday evenings, people can go to the Royal Serenade, a beautiful show held in the Grand Apartments and the Hall of Mirrors. The Royal Serenade brings to life a scene from France's ancient regime with Baroque music, dance, and clothes from the time. The king's dressing ceremony will be reenacted, and there will also be a court ball. The Folies Francoises musical ensemble and the Compagnie de Danse Leventale dancing troupe entertain audiences. 7. Go to Cannes for the film festival. The Cannes Film Festival is a fun event for people who love movies and the glitz of movie stars. It takes place in May. One of the most popular places to visit on the Côte d'Azur is this festival, which is full of lights and music. Filmmakers, movie stars, and paparazzi are all there, and crowds of excited fans come to Cannes to see what's going on the red carpet. The Festival de Cannes is also known for supporting and giving awards to films that are of high quality. 8. Get around Bordeaux by bike. Some of the most beautiful places in France are in the Bordeaux region. There are rolling hills covered with vines, grand castles, 
and small distorted villages. Cyclists can plan their own route or use a tour company to help them figure out what to do. The Roger Lapibi bike path in the Entre de Meurs is a popular route for cyclists coming from Bordeaux. This area is known for its beautiful natural scenery. Part of this route goes along the peaceful Canal de Dumers, which is lined with trees. About 20 kilometers from Bordeaux, the Roger Lapibi path leads to the medieval town of Creon, which was once completely fortified. 9. Experience a candlelit evening at Chateau Volfle de Comte. The Chateau de Volfle de Comte, which is less than an hour from Paris by train and shuttle, is a magical place for tourists to spend a summer evening. This building is a masterpiece of 17th century architecture. It was made by Louis Lavaux for Nicolas Fouquet, who was in charge of Louis XIV's finances. The grounds of the chateau, which were designed by Andre Le Nacher, are very well known. The 33 hectare gardens of the chateau are the first Jardin à la Française, which became popular in Europe in the 17th century. They have geometric shapes, a harmonious layout, and dozens of fountains. 10. Get ideas at the Organ Festival at Chartres Cathedral. During the Festival International Door, the famous pipe organ in Chartres Cathedral fills the sanctuary with the sounds of Christian sacred music. In July and August, there are concerts every Sunday afternoon. With musicians from all over the world and a wide range of musical styles, the festival offers amazing organ music from different centuries and musical movements. 11. Relax at a beautiful beach resort. France has a huge number of places on the coast where people can go to the beach. Because the country is in the shape of hexagon, it has beautiful shores along the Mediterranean Sea, the Atlantic Ocean, and the English Channel. France has so many great beach resorts that everyone can find something they like. Travelers can plan luxurious trips to trendy resort towns, fun trips with lots of outdoor activities, or relaxing trips to places in nature that haven't been touched by humans. 12. Enjoy performances outside in Hot Vaucluse this summer. During the summer, the evenings in the Hot Vaucluse area of Provence are warm and pleasant. This makes it a great place for outdoor events. Wide open spaces, starry nights, and the lulling song of cicadas all add to the magic of the place. The famous Le Corriges d'Orange Music Festival takes place at the Théâtre Antique Garage, which is on the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. This theater is in the old town of Orange. The festival runs from June to August and features operas, symphony performances, and more modern music concerts. Evenings are nice and warm, and the night sky is full of stars. 13. Get in touch with nature in the Auvergne. Many French tourists come to Auvergne to get away from the city and enjoy nature. The quiet place and beautiful scenery make it easy to relax and go on trips outside. Two of the largest regional parks in France are among the highlights. Outdoor lovers will find a lot to do in the regional park of Vulcans d'Auvergne. This is one of the best places to hike, ride a bike, and ride a horse in France. In the park's rivers and streams with fresh water, you can also fish on Lake Ada. People like to swim and go out on boats in the summer. 14. Shop at Aix and Bright Provence's Markets At the open-air markets of Aix and Provence, you can get a feel for the colorful culture of Provence. Every day except the first Sunday of the month, the Place de la Hotel de Ville is filled with flower stands for the Marquis aux Fleurs. The Grand Marquet, large market, is a typical Provencal market that takes place in two places every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday morning. At the Place de Pertures, people sell fruits, vegetables, and food made by hand. At the Place de Verdun, there is an antiques market where people sell things like furniture, books, and clothes, as well as old things. 15. Go to the Carcassonne Summer Festival. Every year in July, the Festival de Carcassonne brings the medieval city of Carcassonne into the modern world. This well-known festival features dance, theater, opera, jazz, rock, and folk music, as well as classical music, opera, jazz, and rock. The festival takes place in places like the Jean Deschamps Theater, the Place Karna inside the old ramparts, and the Chateau Comtel, which was built in the 13th century. 
people will enjoy going to outdoor theaters at night to see shows under the stars. So these are the top 15 things to do in France. If you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel for more top 10 videos. Press the bell icon for latest updates. Thanks for watching.